The crescent moon-shaped necklace, known as the Sanahi, has been found in ancient Chamorro burial sites. The symbolic meaning of the Sanahi to the ancient Chamorro people has long been lost, but the Chamorro youth of today still wear the Sanahi as a symbol of their heritage. This short film explores the past and present of the Sanahi and how it helps to connect the modern culture of the Chamorros with their ancient roots. The word Sinai uh, simply is a reference to the uh, moon face. In Chamorro we say Imatanipilan, the faces of the moon. And you're going back in time, you're trying to reconnect, especially the current generation. Who are our ancestors? What were they like? What did they do? What did they create? Did the Chamorros create jewelry? Did they make jewelry and all that? Of course they did. And these are documented in some photograph uh, of the type of jewelry that were made and were buried in some of these uh, uh, pre-contact burial sites here, uh, at least on Guam. The Chamorros were no different than, than, than any other culture because like in, in, the, like in all cultures, the creation of art in this context of jewelry is really a manifestation of their own uh, identity and their own uh, sense of adornment to their own bodies. And as I said, each culture has developed this and the Chamorros were, were no exception. We need, to, we need to know where we come from. Like the American Indians, they have a good history and, and it's documented where their roots are, where they're coming from, where we've, we've practically lost that, that knowledge. With our, with our culture. The uh, Sanahi is worn by um, somebody with significant um, uh, place in the, in, in the family or in the village. You know, the head of the family would be the one wearing the Sanahi, the head of the village would be wearing the Sanahi. Somebody with status. The chief would be the first and he would be, you know, because they have to prove themselves. Mm -hmm. So being that, he would be the strongest, the hardest, you know, and they, so they wear the Sanahi as a symbol of strength and leadership. So he's like the head of the clan, the head of the village. Clam shell was used, but then there's artifacts found that they made Sanahis out of, uh, out of salt, out of, you know, so there's, so that means that there's, they, they must have used different materials, you know. It could be it's a different village, they use a different material, and they still work with, with the uh, Sanani. That's just my interpretation. You know? Back then, it would take almost a year to make one because, you know, the, the tools that was being used, um, there was no use of this uh, uh, machine. So what, the, what they had to do was shave with rocks and rocks. Uh, shells and stones, you know. Let's say we're gonna do it with, we're gonna use it, uh, use bone. I could do one maybe half an hour. Where back then it would have to be little. If they were gonna make it out of bone back then, it would probably take a week. Art. Now, the Chamorro culture in, in pre contact days, and even the Chamorro culture that I caught, and I was born you know, 4,000 years after all of this, is the things that they did make, okay, were based basically on utilitarian uh, purposes. Now, when society begins to develop even further and further, then the art starts coming. Uh, these are icons that become very, very symbolic when the changes are becoming more, uh, rapid, the changes are becoming more uh, uh, or impacting the younger generation, that they want a sense of identity, a sense of place to their own heritage. Through the Sanahi, the Chamorro youth of today is able to connect with their ancient ancestors. We may never know the true symbolic meaning of the Sanahi to the ancient Chamorros, but we can be sure that the youth of today will carry on the tradition of wearing the Sanahi and wearing it with pride. Thank you for watching this short film on connecting to the past through the Sanahi. We hope you enjoyed it.